Hello guys, Gene Trey here. Trey just had some some dental surgery, and so he's probably not gonna say a whole lot. Sounds a little goofy, <laughs> but we just kind of wanted to explain what you're getting ready to watch. I know that there have been a lot of people out there that have had problems with this Prodigy pistol. I'm not, you know, I'm not disputing that. I'm not trying to make light of them, although I know it can come across that way. It's just that when people were commenting on our videos, it's almost as if they were suggesting, and some even just point blank did suggest, that we somehow was receiving funds or received that gun for free from Springfield, and that we were giving it a good positive review for that reason. But that was not true. I paid for this gun. It's mine. Anybody wants to follow our Facebook page, I'll be glad to put the receipt up and show where we purchased this pistol. It was not, we've never received anything from Springfield Armory. Yeah. And so that's just that basically. And as far as the gangster shooting or whatever, yes, we're making a, a light of it a little bit, of course. But in a lot of ways, I was going to carry this gun. It was going to be on my nightstand potentially in my truck. So if that was widespread, spurt. You know, the thing. The thing, yeah. If there was widespread <laughs> problems, I wanted to know about it. I wanted to know. And so I, in a lot of ways, we were really trying to get this thing to malfunction. And so the last resort for us was maybe one hand gangster shooting the gun and maybe, you know, getting it to limp wrist or whatever. And we were not being unsafe. Uh, there were other people on the range that day. So we kind of went over to the side and done it over to the side so we were not unsafe with anyone and again we're not trying to be smart alex to anyone i know it would have to be such a gut punch to spend that kind of money for a gun and have those types of problems and we want to continue to hear from you guys about your experiences and if you sent it back to springfield what they did to resolve the problem and if they actually did resolve the problem for you guys but we also want to hear about the good ones, you know, because, of course, ours has been good. We've had no issues whatsoever with this gun. And we're not doing this to try to, you know, dismiss anything, that any problems that anyone has had. We're just genuinely trying to show you that we had no problems with this gun. So, in a lot of ways, I'm going to say you ain't ready for what's coming, but... Uh, I don't think they are. I don't. Yeah. I don't think I was. You know, I'm not yeah. going to be ready anytime I watch it. But we, <laughs> like you said, we tried. We, we tried, tried so we hard. Did. Put my wife on it. I think we already put that video up of her shooting it. And if you can't watch that and honestly say that she was definitely limp wristing that gun, then I don't know. You're just in denial. But we changed no springs. I did get a 12 pound spring for it, but I never put it in there yeah. because I really liked the smoothness of the slide with the nine pound spring in there. And as long as it's functioning for me, I just did not see the reason, but I did purchase it, do have it on standby in case it becomes a problem. And so we'll just get right to letting you watch what's about to happen. This is a total different day, you know. I know I got the same, mostly the same outfit, but if you, you know, a lot of the trolls out there, if you pay attention yesterday, I had on some 511s, had more tack pockets in it, you know, and we haven't decided yet whether we're going to attach this, well, if you're seeing this on the uh, Prodigy video, then you know what we decided, but we don't know if we're going to make this a whole separate video, or we're just going to add it to the, the second you know, I guess the follow-up that we did yesterday on the Prodigy, and again, no problem. We shot 50 rounds of Monarch Steel. We shot 50 rounds of uh, 147 grain Wint White Box Winchester jacketed hollow point. 50 Two. rounds of uh, the 124 grain, and so that's what 150 rounds that we shot about another just 100 rounds of straight up white box winchester ammunition we uh tried to shoot it one-handed we tried to limp wrist it uh we even had people on the range here hollering because they seen what we were trying to do 
they were hollering, well, lamp wrist it, lamp wrist it. And I know sometimes my wife, you know, she will, you know, not meaning to. She'll, so we let her shoot it. We just could not get, I just want to see it fail to feed one time. That's all. I want to see it fail to feed. I want to see what else they say was wrong. What, what, what else is it? Trey, what else they say was going on with it? It was failing to feed. Um, Did it ever stovepipe on them? You know, I don't know. Maybe that. I don't, I don't know. But apparently there's a plethora of problems out there. And I'm not dismissing. I'm not trying to be a douchebag. But I just know on the Glock 44, you know, people was putting up videos of their slides cracking, all this other stuff. They're going to be recalls. Nope, never happened. So today we figured we might try to shoot it like gangster, you know, sideways. And maybe that'll make something happen. I don't know. We're going to load up right quick and we're going to find out. So this would be, so we didn't, we had this yesterday out here. We've been at a motel room last night, so we haven't got to clean this up. Shooting it just straight out of the box yesterday, uncleaned, unscathed. And uh, I guess this will be the take one of the uh, gangster. like you've done that before so so not well you you got to throw the book oh okay throw, yes you know, that'll help it fail to feed <laughs> um but obviously i didn't do a good job because it did i hate when that happens so you know what i watched this one video and i know we did this already where this guy put them up side by side and said one was you know well it actually was angled down as it was coming out and so, well, maybe it's the mag. Maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe. And then you know what? Maybe. But since you're left-handed, maybe a left-hand gangster. You know, I mean, we can try it. You know, I don't want to do that because I don't want to necessarily be unsafe at the range. So I'm going to stay right-handed. Okay. You know, but. I think that's what it's going to take. A left-handed gangster? Yeah. That's that's what it, that's going to do it for sure. <laughs> yeah, so the righty ain't going to do it. The, 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 the right-hander ain't going to do it. <laughs> Okay. So we'll let the left-hander do it. See what happens. Well, I got a little happy and shot some of them, and um, so he don't have two full mags. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe a magazine that's not fully loaded. Okay. You know. You want to start with that one? Or start fully with that. Loaded one? Yeah, start with that. One. Okay. I felt a little sluggishness in it when I was shooting it. It, it might do it. I feel good about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got the, you got the package and everything. You got the super. You got modified. A, it's a it's a super, but it's not the modified yet. We got a. You know. But so it didn't that happen. Was, that was half a mag. I'm so no failures or anything. I'm so sad that it didn't happen. Well, you want I, me to try it again? I want it to happen so bad. Well, stand by. Yeah. Try to try to limp wrist it a little bit. Let's see okay. if you can. You know. what they say run like a scalded dog no problems here folks it's not